Hey guys, um, congrats to the Packers. Um, they did a good job tonight. There was a, you know, I thought our guys battled. I thought there was, uh, you know, some real positives, but there was also a handful of instances where we didn't capitalize on some opportunities that we did have. Uh, took a couple negatives on some chances where we had some, you know, shots down the field versus some favorable looks. But, um, you know, we didn't get it done. We'll continue to uh, look inward and, and move forward and, and be ready to go against the Broncos. Uh, well, it's, I mean, this has been a real struggle in a lot of instances, a lot of adversity that we've gone through. But I think what we've seen from our guys, Sarah, is they're going to continue to battle. They're going to finish up these last three games the right way uh, with the right mindset and mentality, and we'll compete to the best of our ability. And um, that's all I know how to do, and I, I trust that that's exactly what we'll do collectively as a group. Did, did you have any hope at all that, you know, all things would fall into place, including you guys winning? I wasn't, I, you know, I don't know if you ever really thought about that. I think you just think about, hey, how can we pour into these guys? How can we continue to try to demonstrate some improvement in all three phases, get a chance to evaluate some guys? So um, that was pretty far from my thought process. Um, it was more about just a one day at a time, you know, mindset and mentality and, and just keep, you know, putting one foot in front of the other and, and try to, uh, you know, do the best that we possibly can. And that's what we're going to continue to do. You know, I thought there was some good, and I thought there were some opportunities that we can learn from. I thought it was excellent job by him manipulating the defense on the touchdown pass to Higby. Um, you know, there were some tough spots that he was in, but uh, we'll go back, we'll look at the film, and, and I think, you know, just being able to, you know, that's a tough defense, the weather, it's, you know, there were some moving parts with our offensive line where you get another injury right away. Uh, you know, anytime that you lose Brian Allen, that's a big deal, but Coleman does a great job being able to step in. Um, so I think we'll be able to look at the tape and evaluate it, but I like the way that he just stayed consistent and kept battling throughout. You're never going to replace a guy like Aaron. He is truly one of one, Kurt. Um, you know, he's a special player. He's done so many great things, and he's been instrumental in a lot of the good things that have taken place, um, you know, since he's really been a Ram. Um, it's unfortunate that we haven't had him. The only positive about it is you get a chance to see some younger guys play some snaps that they wouldn't get otherwise. I think Greg Gaines has played really well in Aaron's absence. I think you've seen some good things from Bobby Brown. You know, you're getting a chance to be able to see Jonah Williams, guys like TJ Carter tonight, even Ernest Brown. So um, that's been a positive, but you never replace Aaron, and we certainly miss him a lot. Uh, you know, I, I, I think any time that you lose somebody, it is going to affect it. But there were some self-inflicted wounds. There were some different things that we can, uh, you know, look at to be able to clean up. I thought Cam Akers was a positive tonight. I thought he ran hard. I thought he did a good job on that one screen on the scoring drive that we ended up having to Higby. And, um, you know, but overall, any time that you miss somebody, you know, it's not helpful. Uh, Brian Allen is a guy that does a great job communicating from the inside out. Uh, he and Baker's rapport in a short amount of time has been something that I think has been helpful. But uh, Coleman has great command, and then O'Day stepped in and, and did, uh, you know, did some good things. A couple more guys. I think it's hard to say that you could, you know, you certainly can't, but, but this is the reality that we're in and uh, this is where we're at. There's a lot of things that when you look at it, uh, especially when you get a chance to step back after the season's over, right, how do we try to avoid some of these things? My job is to focus on, let's finish up the season, um, you know, with the right competitive spirit, with the mindset and mentality that's reflective of who those guys are in the locker room and who those coaches are. And, and that's what we'll do. But uh, there's been a lot of uh, things that I've kind of thought about, you know, that I think, you know, you you can make sense of why you've gotten here, uh, but it still uh, doesn't make it any easier, and it's a very humbling season for sure. No clarity on that yet. Okay? Thanks, guys.
feel free. Um, obviously not good enough. We, we didn't win. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff out there. I think we're going to look at the tape and see how close we were on a few of those plays that uh, really would have been game changing plays. Um, early on, I don't I don't think uh, I was more frustrated with how I played early on. I think there were some plays that just easy checkdowns when they were playing that soft coverage that uh, we got to later. But um, I think I could have made a, a few plays just to stay on track earlier in the game. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be frustrated with with how close we were um yeah just it's just one of those games where not a whole lot was going our way yeah I, th I think you know anytime you can have consistency up front with those guys uh the same guys playing that, that's a huge difference and so um yeah obviously not not a good thing for us to lose him just his presence his you know experience and being able to to make all those calls but it Coleman came in, just bumped him over. Ode came in, and we, we were we were okay. It, it's it wasn't the end of the day, but I, I think it just shows. Uh, you know, I spoke on the culture a little bit last week, even though I haven't been here very long. Just the way guys didn't flinch. You know, everybody was next man up mentality. Obviously, uh, Benny Sco was dealing with some stuff. Trammel stepped up in a big way for us. Came in and got a lot of reps, and so just that mentality of don't flinch. Next guy, come in and just do your job. Uh, I think that's going to be the positive takeaway that we can look at this game after the film and, and be a little bit more critical, but I think that's the positive as for right now. One play at a time, you know, I, I think kind of just the, the way that game went was, you know, we, we strung that good drive together. Um, uh, it ran the ball really well. Had just a few completions and uh, just just trying to stay ahead of stay ahead of the chains. And so we're trying to do that. We had a good shot uh, called and uh, just had a little bit of contact. Couldn't get it all the way out. And Rasul was there to make a play. So uh, and, and then when we got it back, just thinking the same thing. One play at a time. Let's let's see what we can do. Um, but yeah, it's like I said. The the positive I can say right now is nobody flinched and nobody ever gave up. Guys just kept fighting. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to blame it on that. There's some simple plays, just like the screen to Brennan Powell on the side. That just a, the ball's a little bit high. Uh, just a, a couple things that, um, yeah, you, you always look back at a game and you want a few things back, and it just so happened to be kind of the turning points in those games. So missed opportune times, and uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to look back and be pretty critical about those those certain plays that are going to be game changing. There's a couple more. No, I thought I thought everybody handled it well. I think you know you show up here and you have to have the right cleats on first, just because the the grass. Um, yeah, but you know it's it's cold, but in between series you, you warm up pretty quickly on that bench with, with the the big coats and everything. So I thought everybody handled it well. Um, I didn't think it affected us uh, by any means. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think definitely a lot, a lot more comfortable uh, coming into this week, just timing-wise, preparation-wise, and uh, there were a few things that just game plan-wise that you know it'll be little stuff on the tape, uh, but you know made strides, made progress today. We didn't have the outcome we wanted, uh, missed a lot of opportunities, but uh, yeah, I felt definitely a lot more comfortable. You know, this being the, the first full week. All set. Thanks, guys.